Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a question then. Um, <laughs> does uh, Cosmos Tendermint have plans to integrate, um, or or does integrate Ethereum today with proof of work, or or is that yeah. not in scope? Yeah. So uh, currently we do not using native IBC, but using what we call Peggy, uh, mostly okay. because IBC is expensive to write in the EVM today. And so yeah. it's, e so what Peggy is, it's essentially the validators of a Cosmos chain act as sort of oracles to the state of Ethereum. And then there's a contract on Ethereum where they can basically hold the asset. It's basically like a poor man's IBC. Um, it has less to do with the fact that it, about the proof of work, it's actually more the limitation on the, the ability to write it gotcha. in the EVM. Efficiently in there. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, the, and then another question, are y'all primarily using, um, are light client proofs are pretty crucial here? Is that, is that the, the avenue or are you like processing like full mm -hmm. signatures and stuff? No, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely light client proofs uh, that are, yeah, we use light client proofs. And then, you know, IBC is extendable where, you know, you can have, have other types of proofs as well as right. you want as well. So if you have- I could do the full thing, proofs. but this is- Yeah, you could do fraud okay. proofs. You could do data, you could require data availability proofs. It's like a very modular system where it's up to you to decide what is, what is necessary to, uh, to, to accept this IBC block.